What's with Andy? Whoa, whoa. What's with Andy? What, what, what's with Andy? Hi, I'm Andy. You think I'm kind of clever. I'm taking practical jokes to a whole other level. Started out as a prank, but then got way out of hand. See, now the whole town's shouting, hey, hey what's, what's with Andy? Andy? I'm the best, whoa, I'm the greatest joke. Whoa, everybody says, what's with Andy? What, what, what's with Andy? I'm a trick whoa, playing gangster. Whoa, and all everybody says, says, what's with Andy? Okay, this is it. How do I look? Like Spock on a bad hair day. Hmm. Your transporter awaits. Zip me up. One thing I've learned as a practical joke artist is that it's all a matter of giving the public what they want. And tonight, the public of East Gackle just happens to want to see an alien. Confused? Maybe I should start at the beginning. <laughs> from Mars. We'll return after these messages. A teapot welded to a boiler plate. <laughs> they call that a flying saucer? Actually, they call it an interstellar Martian transporter. <laughs> Whatever. Those effects were so lame. I mean, we could do better than that. I haven't seen you smile like that since you put hair remover in gin shampoo. What you thinking? I'm gonna put East Gackle on the map. Aliens, huh? You read my mind, buddy. We're gonna stage the most famous alien sighting in the country. No, make that the world. Everything scanned and downloaded. Good. Then any second now. <laughs> Alert the media! Alert the media! Close encounter of the nerd kind. Look, everyone! I received an intergalactic transmission from an alien outpost. Ugh! It's a real-life email from aliens! Whoa, this is crazy. Hey! Don't be such a doofus, Bonwick. Those blueprints are totally real. It's a master plan to destroy the Earth. It's too bad you two space dorks won't be around to see it happen. <laughs> It's the aliens! They're trying to hypnotize us so they can give us radioactive blood transfusions and suck our brains out with a straw! Okay, knock it off with the lights! Who's behind these shenanigans? Where's Larkin? Right here, sir. Your pranks are wearing thin, Andy. One more stunt like this, and you'll earn yourself a one-way ticket to detention! On the moon! Do you understand? Perfectly. But I'm innocent. I was in the can the entire time. Coming from someone who put laxatives in the faculty coffee makers, do you really expect me to believe that? You would if you had the meatloaf. Uh. We're gonna have to believe him this time. He's got a paper trail to prove it. Besides, it is possible that there are other life forms out there. It seems to me that Mr. Hutchins is basically asking to be pranked on. Get down! Hello? Greetings, Earthling. It is time to fulfill your destiny. Step outside. The aliens are here. They finally come for me. Stop! Before you can join our advanced race, you must first prove yourself worthy. Well, what do I have to do? And what do I get? What do you get? Hee ha hee ha ha ha! You get to live! <laughs> Tell the citizens of East Gackle that we have arrived to take over the planet. They can surrender peacefully, or... <laughs> Suffer the ultimate consequences. Yes, intergalactic cosmic space traveling leader. Uh, sir, that's a really bright light. Wait! There is one more thing. Never assign homework over the weekend again. What? Now, go! <laughs> that was classic. An award-winning 
performance. So, what's next? Let's go find out if my sister likes galactic green eggs and ham. Can you believe those dorks at school today? <laughs> they actually believe that aliens have landed in East Gackle. As if. Thank you. Did you just hear something? Oh, it's probably just my dog-faced brother pulling another lame prank. There's something outside! <gasps> ah! It's the aliens! Run for it! Ah! Nice try, puke Slywalker. But it was just a passing car. Ah! Ah! Nice job, Danny! You nailed him! Huh? Danny? You can come out now. Danny? Yeah. This smells like the work of a prankster. And right about now, I'm getting a big whiff of you, Andy boy. Why does everyone always suspect me? What have I ever done? Forget I asked that. The point is, I've got an alibi. I was in the house when it happened. Don't worry, Andy. If I learned anything at that seminar on lying children and the mothers who love them, it's that the truth will set you free. Great, Mom. But while I'm getting blamed in here, the truth is out there. Well, folks, the truth is that we're going to look for that truth and find that truth. Honestly, even if it brings us back to you, Andy. And if I know my brother, it will. Don't worry, son. Your mother and I believe you. And uh, even if we didn't, we would never tell you. Thanks, Dad. What happened to you earlier tonight? Sorry, I totally bailed. I saw a car coming near us, so I aborted the mission. Did you get the stuff on our list? Does Spank have silent but deadly gas? Let's see. Fluorescent paint, shovels, pitchforks, paintbrushes, and some extra zesty slime from an outhouse I found at a construction site. <laughs> oh, yeah. Outhouse slime. Always popular with the ladies. Oh, I love my work. Tomorrow morning, some sucker is going to take one small step for man and one giant leap for East Gackle. Why'd you do... Oh, good plan. It's all part of the plan. I can hear the news reports now. And all that was found was his sneaker. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Uranus! Tic-tac-toe? Get me the Steves and fast! Sorry for the delay, Mayor. We got here as soon as we could. Hey, that's the third bike this week. I want some answers, Sheriff, and I want them now. I've got your answer right here. You know what this means, don't you? Yeah. Aliens have smelly feet. No, you mental midget! This shoe belongs to our suspect! Mildred, run this sneaker through the system. It's a Sprinter Cross Trainer X20 size 7. Anything in the file? Thanks. The Larkin Kid. Let's roll. Open up, Andy. You're caught. We know you're behind this. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Quick, come inside. <laughs> Tell the sheriff what you told us, Danny. Well, Andy decided that he was going to prove his innocence once and for all. So he went to catch the aliens on video. But after he didn't come back, I went looking for him. This is all I found. <laughs> My name is Andy Larkin, and this video will soon prove that alien beings have indeed invaded East Gackle. Did you hear that? It's the aliens! I'm so scared! There's something out there. I can smell it. Ah! Ah! Poor Andy. First he's kidnapped by aliens, and then they make him do their dirty work. Where's the justice? You know what this means, don't you? Yeah, we'll never get to see how the movie ends. No! It means as long as those intergalactic maniacs are on the loose, no one in East Gackle is safe! 
We're live at East Gackle Town Hall, where in just a few moments, the mayor will be answering questions regarding the recent rash of alien sightings, which is currently being made into a movie of the week. My, My fellow, fellow East Gacklonians, I... Not a small talk, mayor. This town's got aliens coming out the wazoo, and you know it! What are we gonna do about it? Yeah! yeah. What's a wazoo? It's true. I even talked to the aliens. They re-wallpapered my kitchen and did a lovely job. They made me a three-course meal and a low-fat lemon cake. Those stage hogs are claiming credit for things I didn't even do. They're stealing my hard-earned glory. Desperate times call for desperate measures. It's this kind of quick thinking and disgusting slime that'll make me a legend someday. Now calm down, people. Until we find Andy's carcass... It's what? Uh, I mean, until we find Andy, we have no proof. You do now! Because I, Andy Larkin, was abducted by aliens! And after they finished playing tic-tac-toe on my chest, they dropped me off and said next time it wouldn't tickle so much. That's about it. Tic-tac-toe? Why? What did the spaceship look like inside? They had sort of a feng shui thing going on with lots of pastels. But what about their plans to destroy the Earth? Since you brought that up... You people are fools. This is all just a hoax. Citizens of East Mackerel. It's Gaggle! Whatever. I'm FBI Agent Roz, and this is my partner, Agent Well. There are no aliens in your town. My advice to you all is just to forget this ever happened and go home. Well, I say you're wrong. I saw those aliens with my own eyes, and nobody here can prove otherwise. We don't have to prove a thing, jerk face. You do. Yeah! If you're, you know, best friends with these aliens, then when are they gonna... You know, come back and show us their faces, huh? That's it. The aliens will be here this Saturday night, 7.30 sharp, at the Gnome Tower. Is it true that you were probed by the aliens? No, but they did give me a back rub. Can you confirm the reports that you weren't wearing clean underwear? No comment. All right, people, give them some air. There'll be time for interviews and photo ops later. <laughs> This has got to be my best stunt ever. By the time I'm done, people will never forget the name. Andy Larkin, uh, we want to have a word with you. Is this about those overdue library books? If it is, I can explain. Yeah. How'd you throw those special agents off your trail? Easy. I told him Shane McMartin was running a black market trading card ring out of his video store. Don't tell me. Operation Invasion Time? But won't we need a real live alien? You're looking at him. Ah! What are you up to now, dweeb face? Nothing, just my astronomy homework. You're not planning anything crazy for Saturday night, are you? Me? No, I'm not the planning type. Hey, guys! Yeah. Ah! Oh. Lori? Oh, what a surprise. You know, Andy, I saw you at the town meeting, and I just want to say how brave I think you are. Well, isn't this a pleasant development? Please, continue. Well, if you're not too busy, I was hoping we could go to the alien invasion together on Saturday. <gasps> Actually, Lori, I'm gonna have to say yes! Uh, Andy would be delighted to escort you. He was just telling me that he didn't have any plans Saturday night. Isn't that right? Andy? That's right. So, no corny pranks up your sleeve? Pranks? Yes. Corny? Never. No, 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 of course not. I'll pick you up at seven. See ya. I don't know what you're up to, but whatever it is, it just got a whole lot messier. Have a fun date! How are you gonna be in two places at the same time? I don't know, Danny, but I think I know someone who will. Hey guys, check this out. Pretty sweet, eh? Very! Can I ask you something, Mush? Sure, man, what's up? Let's say you had a date with a really cute girl but needed to be somewhere else at the same time. What would you do? Double booked with two babes on the same night. 
You stud. Yeah, well. <laughs> Hang on. It's like this. You can cook two pizzas simultaneously, but it's better to put one in earlier. So you have enough time to tend to both of them. The peach, I hope it works out. See you around. <laughs> that guy's a genius. If I play my cards right, I can have my pizzas and eat them too. Come on, we got a show to put on. them aliens the kingdom come or you know even further <laughs> this is so perfect oh by the way i might get scared do you mind if i hold on to your arm the whole time of course i don't mind speaking of time i better get us something to eat before the uh, aliens attack be right back huh most of the town's here are you sure you can pull this off of course everything is going just uh... Awful! What's wrong? I'm being invaded on another front. Whoa, pizza face. <laughs> Looks like you forgot to take off your zit cream. My makeup! Makeup? What are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Bad head cold. My mind's real fuzzy. Oh, and I'm dizzy. Bye. Head cold, my... Aliens aren't the only strange things in the air tonight. There's also sweet romance. Can you feel it? Uh, yeah. Whatever, Jervis. Yes! Thanks for keeping my seat warm, Jerv. You can go now. Uh, are you all right? Oh, yeah. I'm just practicing my look of horror before the aliens arrive. This has got to be one of the most exciting, uh... <laughs> okay, this is it. How do I look? Like Spock on a bad hair day. <laughs> Your transporter awaits. Zip me up. I don't know what's making me tingle more. The thrill of the show or this tight-fitting harness? Guess it's time to find out. We're being invaded right before our eyes. They're eating it up with a shovel. Okay, Danny, I'm ready to take flight. Danny? Show's over, Dipwad. I'm going to expose you for the slimy little freak that you are. It's a Larkin! Andy Larkin! Hey, loser. I think it's time to use the force. <laughs> Andy Larkin. I suppose I should be angrier with you breaking promises and all, but look where your silly pranks got you. Why do you do them? Well, see you soon. Maybe we can hang out another time. Cute pun. <laughs> she loves me. <gasps> uh, a little help here? Whoa! <clears throat> hey, Danny, what happened? Did they torture you? Brainwash you? Threaten to tell everyone about your bad breath? My breath's fine. Anyway, the agents asked a lot of questions, and it looks like we'll have to pay for the damages out of our allowances. But I guess it could be worse. 
Worse? How could it be any worse? The whole thing turned into Operation Embarrassment. I just wanted to put East Gackle on the map by bringing it a bit of fame, but I screwed that up. Hang on a minute. Look at this. Alien hoax makes history in East Gackle. What do you know? My prank was a success. Not for being the most famous alien sighting, but for being the most famous alien hoax. <gasps> and you know what the best part is? If Lori thinks I'm amusing now, <laughs> wait until she gets a load of this. <laughs> Fox kids, fox kids, fox kids, fox kids.